Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, Let's Play Dragon Warrior. Um, been a while, let's hopefully hope that this round goes much better. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and attack some enemies, try and work our levels up, maybe even try and do something else. Kinda cool, so, eh. Anyway, I'm gonna kinda try to bump my HD Vidbox audio up here a little bit. There we go. see where our status is. Okay, so I got a hand axe, chain mail, and a small shield. I'm pretty well equipped right now. I'm going to go ahead and go look at my weapons and armor choices for uh, leveling up. Hopefully this doesn't mess up. Hopefully a Windows update doesn't grenade this again, but eh, we'll see. I also adjusted the video output settings. Hopefully it's a little cleaner now. So, you know, the sink might be a little goofy on this, but whatever. Okay, let's go talk to the weapon shop guy. And what's he got? Another chain mail, half plate, and a large shield. Okay. Let's look at our status. We have a small shield and a chain mail. Yeah. Let's work towards that large shield, why don't we? This is going to be more of a grinding fest today, I guess. One hit kills on Drakey's. <laughs> get up to level 10. Yeah, I don't do a whole lot of editing on these. It just gives you the full experience. Dragon Warrior 1 is a little more grindy than the other ones are. I mean, even 2 isn't even that bad, even though people constantly say it is. But look excited, I might actually have a line on Dragon Warrior 4, so... I might be able to do all these on the original console. Granted, my NES does have the uh, NES 10 chip little E, you know, I'm done. So let's go over here and watch my video quality be great as I go through this. Eventually I'm going to get some kind of Linux uh, adapter for this, that way then I can just leave it permanently attached, but until then, it is what it is. Save us some power, you know. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm working on my crappy Windows laptop right now. <laughs> Let's see anything else in here that I can kill off to make this more comfortable? Maybe the Windows Explorer task. Looks like it made an improvement already. <laughs> well, let's get back to the game, why don't we? Not as bad as it was, but still not perfect. Um, actually, let's go see what they're selling for weapons and armor over here. 
gotta have goals, you know. I have a full plate here. Small shield. Strange combo. Anyway. I go back out and go beat up some bad guys. Maybe see if we can do that seaside cave. We gotta level up. At this point, it's pretty much fine to just hit the magicians because they're all one hit kills at this point. It's really time to go um, dipping our toe in the other territory. We don't want to go south, uh, southward much more. We're going to want to go west and then go south. Let me tell you that the guy who said that if when you cross bridges the danger increases as you go across. Aside aside from all the other bridges in this game, that guy was a bold faced liar when it comes to the one I'm just walking across. Oh a little slime. I could speedrun this just using a whole bunch of game genie cheats, but I'd rather not. <laughs> Roam in the countryside. Alright, let's see how he fares against a scorpion. Should gain him a few points. Probably go check out that seaside cave. Eh, maybe not. I usually prefer to wait until I have the radiant spell, so maybe I'll grind around here for a little while. Let's dispense with the magician. They uh, don't put the grinding in their videos, but uh, I'll just do that for now. Anyway, what I'm waiting for is to get the Radiant spell. Why? Because this over here. Oh. My counter rate will go down. Anyway, yeah, so as you see here, this is the Seaside Cave. We're not going to go in there right now. I don't have any torches, and I don't have the Radiant spell, so, eh. <sighs> Wander around the Poisonous Marsh. Eat up some more, um, closer toothpaste gel. <coughs> Sorry about that. That I've been cleaning and dusting all day. And I'm vaccinated. And I'm extremely pro mask. You know, this is a good time to talk more about the Zen of grinding. I mean, I don't know what it is, but I just find grinding very relaxing. Very relaxing. Just, I don't, I don't know. It's just nice. Let's turn that down a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to roam around and get some more creatures. It's 
Yep, Drakey. Let's go down here and fight a few more. So this is what I pretty much do for the majority of Dragon Warrior 1. It's probably the most grindy of the lot. Dragon Warrior 2's only a kill's heal is a, a certain dungeon and um, a heavy grind fest at the end. Which is perfectly fine, because really all you have after that is some boss characters and you're pretty much upset. Um, Dragon Warrior 3. That one I find a little confusing on where, where to go. Might actually start over on an actual save game on that one. Well, we should get out of here with 15 hit points and heal myself a little. We're accumulating wealth so we can build more armor. Honestly, I did watch a few more videos and I actually uh, learned from another YouTuber, I can't place his name right now, that actually like I had theoreticized, yes, defense is probably the most important stat in Dra Dragon Warrior. Which explains why I start off every time with some heavy piece of armor and a bamboo pole. Maybe later we'll do some of the later Dragon Quest games, but I'm going to have to do some of the 90s ones under emulation using translations because I don't have a Super Nintendo anymore and they never released Dragon Quest V or Dragon Quest VI in America on a Nintendo platform or otherwise. They didn't start that until they started with the Game Boy games, I think around like 97, and they were still called Dragon Warrior even then. And then about 2000, PlayStation game came out, and then it was called Dragon Quest. Alright. Let's go. I'm just gonna heal my guy up real quick. And then we're gonna try to head back to the castle and see how many experience points I need. <laughs> this is what a grinding session with me is like. Minus the whole falling asleep with your headphones on on your cell phone part, if I was playing this on an emulator. Yeah, in Dragon Warrior, you kind of hit a few uh, periods where you're just constantly grinding. And uh, this is one of them because you got to build up strength to go and and if you're like me and you're preferring spells to actually purchasing stuff that you don't need to really act purchase, rather just wait for the radiant spell grind the whole time and build up my weapons and armor and stats, and then go in the cave and just slaughter everything in my path with one hit kills because that's just the way I do it. And then usually by that point I'm ready to go east and south. For a little while before we get to face the horrible nightmares near Hawk, Hawk's Nest. Let's talk to King Warwick again. 374 points. Yes. Now let's go exploit that. See, I never pay for inns. I just go here and just heal myself. My character never sleeps. The complete opposite of me in real life. Alright, let's see here. Gotta get used to using game pads again. Yeah, we're all healed up, and we're all ready to rock, and time to go beat some creatures with a hand axe for a little while longer. Oh, 
Oh, come on, you. People say they can beat this game in eight hours. Probably, if you're, like, exploiting glitches and stuff. I prefer to do it the old school way. <laughs> you know. And I've been playing these Dragon Quest early NES titles for a long time. And... A lot of people kind of tend to get on to me when I talk about I really like the NES versions the best, because they're like, oh man, but the Super Nintendo, but the DS, but the GameCube, but the whatever. I'm like, whatever, dude. Oh, skeleton. We might not survive this. It's only about half as much hit points as I am. Eh, maybe we'll survive. Yeah, that's more gold. Yeah, I have a feeling that some of these tiles in Dragon Quest Dragon Warrior actually also do change the enemy types. Like, you notice we weren't hitting any skeletons here earlier, but now all of a sudden we're hitting skeletons. Whereas previously I was beating the tar out of uh, scorpions at like the worst. Now we have skeletons. I think the game just decides to release um, characters based upon how well you're doing. I don't know too many secrets about the Dragon Warrior, uh, whatever internal artificial intelligence might be going on within the game part while I'm playing, but I have noticed that it does tend to deploy enemies based upon your skill level. Like right here when we were grinding originally near this area, it was all just slimes and drakeys and ghosts and, you know, the basic stuff. Now it's all... We're getting the occasional scorpion. I wouldn't even be surprised if a skeleton was as far up by now. I swear the dang bad guys in this game just spread like the freaking murder hornets across the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> They're just like, yeah, we're in Izaqua. Now we're in cement. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, there's a town in Washington State called Cement. And there's like a giant cement factory, I think, like visible from the highway or something like that. Alright, let's go beating up more baddies for more experience. And working towards that full plate or that half plate or whatever armor we're gonna buy. I don't even worry about the hurt spell at this point. I got enough hit points that's slightly negated from things. I'm actually playing this with the headphones off right now because my monitor is off sync, so it sounds like I'm talking through a delay pedal. And then on top of it, I've got that eerie oboe music for the overworld theme. <laughs> and sometimes I just get tired of it. I admit, Dragon Warrior 1 doesn't have the best music now. To me... Uh, 2, 3, and 4 take it up to the next level. I mean, especially 4. That one is... <laughs> oh boy, I'll be doing a lot of talking when I shoot that one. If I ever shoot that one. Who knows. Anyway, we're looking around. We're just trying to find things to beat up and kill. And earn experience points and gold. I suddenly decided to resend all the skeletons instead of just give, a, give us stronger mages and, uh, instead. <laughs> eh, easy 10 gold. Get that drakey a little bit. Uh, 
I also find it a little more interesting how the series, as it went along, it went from this, which is pretty much the trope of an RPG. I mean, you're some hero with barely a backstory from some foreign land come to save the world for pro because prophecies or because um, some guy thinks you're the right guy for the job or you were secretly a part of like a uh, royal line. <laughs> and then of course you just go out and beat up enemies for like no other reason than that they're there. Gather a bunch of magic artifacts then go to the end level and kill the big bad guy. And somewhere along the way you also... Now in this game I guess it kind of veers off a bit, but in most games, yeah, you have to rescue some kind of princess or something like that. <sighs> anyway, yeah, we're just gonna go in here and uh, heal up real quick, and then we're gonna save and see what my XP points are. Rinse and repeat. Maybe I'll grind some off camera? I don't know. Kids, this is what adult gaming is. <laughs> No, we don't all play video games with X-rated content. We play all the old crap we grew up with, but in far more limited amounts than we did when we were kids and skipping homework to play Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go see what the king has to say. Let's see what Grady report card he has for me right now. This is actually the first time I've used my stage name as the actual character name, so it's kind of interesting to see how that's going to work out for me. Seems like it's made the game just a little bit harder, which I'm perfectly fine with, just because of the basic fact that, uh... <sighs> yeah, I told you, Zen of Grinding. Yeah, just because of the basic fact that in this game, the first four letters of your name are what determines your stats. And, uh, I have a hyphen <laughs> there, so... <laughs> yeah, my character's mad, I tell you, mad! Anyway, let's go. Go away, Senior Colgate. I just thought of this, but those ghosts really do look like the pink slime from uh, Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> I saw that in the theater when I was six. It was awesome. Good old 1988. Well, I actually have armor before I get to the next level. <sighs> Skeleton. Where's Adrian Borland when you need him? Yes, I know that is not what li your living like skeletons is about. <sighs> You know, as an older guy, it's so weird to think about how old these games are now. I mean, geez. Remember when I remember being a little kid and looking at Atari and going, Wow, you can actually control the images on your TV screen. Now it's like so commonplace, nobody even bat an eye. <laughs> then I remember seeing this stuff and being just utterly overwhelmed by it. That That's why I didn't get into Dragon Warrior until like my teen years, because 
I mean, the sheer complexity of these uh, early console RPGs, it might not seem like it once you finally played it, but it is a lot more complex than what most of us were playing in the day. It doesn't seem like it when I, someone who knows what they're doing is playing it, but it certainly seems like it when someone who doesn't know what they're doing is playing it. And just like that, we're scanning for crimes. <laughs> One hit kills. The video is actually going quite well now, finally. Maybe that's the secret with this laptop. We'll beat some more prayers up with a hand axe for a while. Yeah, just cruise around aimlessly beating stuff up. So this is just like a cool, relaxing activity to me. Oh. oh, come on, skeleton. Hey, he's not dealing as much damage as the previous. No, eh, I take that back. Now he is. Of course, I've done well dispensing with that critter. Oh, I haven't seen one of you in a while. Where I live, we have these little bastards. It's funny as people talk about them, but I haven't seen any yet. I saw my first scorpion when I was 10, and I lived in Alabama and peeled off a piece of bark and found it. How I didn't get pinched or stung is beyond me. I did, however, get fire ants in my shoe one day. That was not fun. You know what true horror is in life? Jumping into a pond and seeing fire ants come out of your shoe. <laughs> like, en masse, like an entire ant hill's worth. Looking back, I probably should have gone to the hospital for that. Eh. But nope, it was the 90s. Way different time. When parents still wore gravy suits and talked about responsibility. <laughs> yeah, that's... Okay, we're gonna go save and probably put an end to this video right after I heal up. So once again, go visit our obligatory healer. Eh, God damn it. Hi. Fill me up with magic points. Magic power. <laughs> right, here we go. Let me talk to him one more time. Healed up, we're all magicked up. Uh, let's go up the stairs, talk to King Lark, and shut her down. We took off about a hundred points. Yeah. Creeping that, signing out. Calling, calling, calling you.